So hey, my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is September the 16th. The time is now 8.26 a.m., guys. It's going to be a beautiful Monday all day. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell to see more of me. Now, moving forward, today's topic is going to be six ways to raise your child with values. I feel like as a parent, it's very, very imperative for us to raise our children with values and the only way they're gonna learn these 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 important facts of life is through your teachings so yes it is important to raise your child with the right values now the first easy way to raise your child with values is to find out what they naturally have skills for like what are they naturally good at are they artists you know are they good at singing are they good musicians pianos clarinet trumpet like you got to you got to find out what your child is good at so that you can help them to develop that natural skill that they have and that is one way for them to actually create a career in the future you know, I mean, a prime example is look at Beyonce. At the end of the day, she started singing from a very young age. Even if it was just entertaining the family in the beginning, that was the start of her career. Her family seen that, you know, her parents seen that she had a natural skill for this. And they like, okay, we're going to help her to, to develop that skill and take it to the next level. And that's exactly what she did. So you can do the same thing with your children. What are they naturally good at that you can help to, to elevate them to the next level where they can create a, a, a life for themselves by doing what it is that they actually love to do. Now, the second thing that the second easy way to raise your child with great values is to be aware of what you're modeling. I feel like it's very imperative for you to watch the things that you say and the things that you do, because believe it or not, especially around your child, because believe it or not, they see everything that you do and they model what you do because they think if you do it, then it's okay for them to do it. So yes, it's very important for you to be extremely cautious of the things that you're saying and doing in front of your children because they don't forget. Everything that my mother did when I was younger, I remember. And as I got older, I became her, but just, you know, in my own way. And that's a great thing because my mother taught me some great values. She taught me how to treat people, to be respectful. She taught me how to be myself and be unique and never to compare myself to someone else. And that's why I'm telling you that these are the values that you want your child to have as they get older. Because whatever you do and whatever you say, they remember that and they model what they've seen. Or experience so yes that is important now the third way to raise your child with great values is to talk about why you make decisions based on your values like if you do something right explain to your child why you did it explain to them why the way that you did it was the correct way to handle the situation or if you have done something that you feel you know, might have been a little wrong, but you know why you did it. Explain to your child so that they have a better understanding of why you, you know, did things the certain way that you did. You know, at least they will understand, okay, well, she might have not did it the right way, but she explained to me why she did it this way. That would give them a, a better understanding of, you know, why you do things the way that you do it. And I feel like that is important because that will let them know more about your family history and things that you've been through. And that's important as well. Now, the fourth easy way on how to create value for your child is to teach your child the value of a dollar. I feel like this one is golden. One thing I, I can honestly say is we are not taught in school the value of a dollar. We are not taught in school, you know, how we can turn one dollar into a hundred. So you being a parent, you having some experience when it comes to finances, I feel like it really is important to teach a child the value of a dollar and how to turn one dollar into 10, 20, 50, a hundred dollars. That is very important. It's very imperative to teach a child how to save money money that is important and it and it helps them in the long run believe it or not so if you want to create great value for your child teach them the value of a dollar teach them how to make money teach them what money can do you know that is very important the problem that i see that we face nowadays is that we don't know enough about money you know, we don't know how to get money besides going to work. There's other ways. And that goes back to value number one, 
finding what your child is good at doing and helping them make a career out of it. So yes, teaching them the value of a dollar is very important. Now, the fifth way on how to raise your child with great values is consistently teach and model good sportsmanship. Remember, there is no I in team. It's very important for you to teach your child how to be a team player. You know, it's very important to teach your child how to be a leader and not a follower. These are are great values that you want to install in your child as a young as a young kid because as they get older if it's already installed in them now they become what they want to be but their values from what they was taught as a child are still in them and that is very important so teach them teamwork teach them the importance of teamwork teach them you know um that it takes more than one brain sometimes to make things work and that's very important you don't want your child to feel like I can do everything on my own. I don't need any help. You don't want them to have that type of mentality because as they get older, we all need help at some point in time. You don't want them to have pride to the point where they, you know, they're suffering alone and no one knows. Like if they're suffering, there's help out there. But a lot of times when we have so much pride, we don't want people to know that we may be struggling. It's okay to say I need help. It's okay to be a helping hand. And that's what you want to create those type of values within your child as they get older. Now, the sixth way on how to create value, how to raise your child with great values is to communicate about faith and strength. I feel like faith and strength are are two words that need to be installed in your child as a young kid. That's important. Teach them about faith. Teach them to believe in what they cannot see. But you know, pray to God and let them know, let God know exactly what they want and and keep aiming at it and teach them that it's okay that you will fail your way to the top. There's going to be times where things just don't go your way, but that's a character building moment that, you know, you can, you can supersede, you can, you can get past that. And I feel like that's really important when it comes to creating great value for your child. Let them know that, you know, you have to have faith and you, and you have to be strong out here in the world. And that's just the reality of the situation. Now, our bonus tip for today on how to raise a child with great values, and I feel like this one is important, is to help your child develop empathy. You want your child to kind of feel where other people are coming from. You know, see, be an open-minded person. See it from the other person's point of view. You don't want your child to be the type where, you know, they, they just don't care how other people feel. It's all about them, you know, and their feelings. No, you want them to, you know, kind of understand where someone else is coming from. That'll help them that'll help them to better communicate with people in the near future. So I hope that those six ways on how to raise a, tri- a child with great values help you, plus that bonus tip. If you guys can, can relate to this, give this a huge thumbs up. And like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shoploveronline.com. Until next time, guys. Peace.